Hey everybody, welcome to the 1111 Portal Readings, and I'm really excited about this reading, and I hope this blows your mind the way it did me. <laughs> because when I was looking into 1111, and I'm like, okay, well, 11 is the Justice card in the Standard Tarot, and I'm like, okay, that's cool, but I'm like, oh, you know what? Actually, originally it wasn't. Originally, it was the Strength card. Uh, uh, that was how it was traditionally, and then it changed over time, you know, people adjusted it. And you'll see here, you know, you've got the Strength card uh, being number eight, and the Justice card being number eight. So there is this beautiful awareness as I was looking into this. And bear with me, because uh, November 8th, here in the United States, is election day <laughs> and of course that has been bringing up a lot of controversy over the last couple years and bear with me on explaining the cards and the energies of where we're going with this and then we definitely will get into pulling um, cards for each individual zodiac sign but this is an important piece for you here because the justice card is the balancing out of small t truths and capital t truths you'll see they have the scales here and then they also have this ace of swords well the uh, scales are the balancing out of capital t truths which that ace of swords allows us to connect to the higher realms to those truths that are rooted in unconditional love and the small t truths as i call them are those that are rooted in the fear of losing conditional love of the human of the human opinion of all that outside world right and so that scale is balancing out those small t truths um, and it's being balanced by the capital T truce of the higher realm, which allows them to cut away the small T truce that no longer serve. Well, the strength card is almost similar in a way because it is about the lion being our human self that's searching for love in the outside world and it's become hangry because what it gets out there is not unconditional it is uh, temporary and doesn't fulfill us for long at all and so it's roaring in the jungle and then our higher self here indicated by the infinity symbol above her head comes down and brings to our human what it's been searching for all along. It's very convenient that our higher self is a powerful, supernatural, eternal being that is made of unconditional love. And I really like the way they present it here, this beautiful, angelic, you know, supernatural being coming down and loving on the human side. And so, you know, this allows us to balance our lives by bringing in truths that are related to unconditional love. And the strength card is about how we find this peace from uh, connecting to our higher self. So the combination of all these with that 11-8, <laughs> I love this, um, is all about becoming aware of the fears we have of losing conditional love in the outer world. And we do that by turning inward to find that ace of swords in the hand of our higher self. And that removes these thoughts and these beliefs that no longer serve us. And it also removes the things that divide us and it allows us to unite under that capital T truth that we are all unconditionally loved by the creator of all things. And we have access to love ourselves in that way, right? And then we're able to love others. Because if we can't love ourselves unconditionally, we can't love others that way either. And when we have ourselves under that long list of conditional love laws, conditions that we have in order to be, you know, loved and acceptable, by golly, we're going to keep everyone else under those laws too. I call it being God's little sheriff. I'm going to make sure everyone's doing what they should be doing and thinking the way they should be thinking, right? But when we free ourselves from those conditional love lies by embracing this unconditional love from above, we free everyone else in the world as well.
crazy, right? Especially around election time here. It's all about, no, this is the right. No, this is the right. This is the right candidate. No, this is. This is the right way to believe. No, this is. All the policies, all the stuff that's triggering everywhere. Beautiful portal opening up to help us with all of this. Now, the portal opens on November 11th uh, fully, but we'll start to be able to feel these energies beforehand. And uh, I love that the more of us that focus on unconditional love, the more it transforms the world. I saw this beautiful meme on Instagram that said something like, for each person that has this higher frequency of love vibration that they're putting out into the world, it counteracts 700,000 of those that have the lower vibrational fear energies that are going on. So if you imagine you sending out unconditional love into the world and me that's a million four hundred thousand uh individuals that we are helping uh you know transform that energy and the more of us that do it the more we impact the world and i just absolutely love that message so thank you for your patience as i was going through of all that we are going to pull a reading for the 1111 portal for your specific zodiac sign and we're just going to be asking where can we free ourselves from conditional love laws so we're going to jump into your reading right now all right leos this is your 1111 portal reading and we're going to start off here by pulling a card from the power of surrender deck now all the cards i use in a reading i do list in the description box below so if you catch any that uh you know uh pique your interest you know where you can pick those up for yourself now we are bringing in this beautiful rose quartz rock here to represent the high heart the spirit heart and this beautiful selenite wand here that represents the ace of swords so this is all about the balancing out of things so we're going to start over here with what the creator and spirit feel that you could uh, use some freedom around conditional love laws and then we'll put other cards to help balance it out so we'll start off here first with the power of surrender and we'll see what they would like you to know leo all right so what would you like our leo to know here all right so this is where you could use some freedom from conditional love laws and you got surrender to setting limits yeah so definitely that's coming in here it says it's healthy to set boundaries in relationships practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete a sentence so uh you know this is like the fear of saying no right where you feel like you can't put up a boundary that uh, you don't have a say so that you have to do all these expectations these conditional love laws so this is like the the fear of standing up and saying no to those conditional love laws so let's take a look here we are going to also pull from the oracle of the seven energies and let's see what else they want to add here okay one more time all right so for leo what would you like them to know what will help balance this energy all right this is the one right here and you've got shining through card number 30. What a beautiful card. Love that. We'll put that right here. And let's take a look and see what energies this one brings in. And this is about self-expression without filters or masks, authentic communication, being proud of who you are, shining in the world and refusing to make yourself small just to belong, right? So that's why we are afraid to stand up for ourselves. But here you have this bright light shining through this beautiful lotus. And it says you are being called to step into your true power and essence. And this is one of those times when you're required to bring everything you are 
all that you've learned, experienced, and integrated, and offer it up in service to the world. When you take center stage, you will be noticed. Yes, as you shine brightly, you will naturally stand apart from others. And this idea may bring up excitement and genuine pride or discomfort, but this is not the time to make yourself small to avoid the glare of the spotlight and potential punishment by others. That's what this is about, right? Punishment from others. It takes courage, but know that this is the right thing for you today. You've come so far. You've been in the proverbial back of the room in learning and gathering mode for so long, and this important time has served its purpose. You must now step into a new consciousness, seizing a new opportunity to share your wisdom. You will be like a lighthouse shining through the dark, illuminating the way for others. Be careful of the voices in your head that say you can't do that or you don't know enough or who are you to shine? <laughs> the better question is, who are you not to shine? All you are and all you have become is by the grace of the divine. And now it is your duty to share your gifts. So celebrate this. I love it. Yep. Time to shine, baby. Time to shine. And so rather than limiting yourself uh, and making yourself small and feeling you have to say yes to everyone else and not, you know, live your true authentic path and be true to your gifts, um, you're, you're moving this, you're switching this. And so we're switching that energy with this movement here. We're changing the sword. We're changing the wand to have the energy flow into this instead of this. And we're also going to pull here, of course, from the... Uh, true heart intuitive tarot we'll see what else they have to say about these energies all right so for our leos what would you like them to know please and this is such a leo energy you know before this is so opposite of you that you have these um you know, uh, this fire um, to stand up and be who you are um, to be, but uh, you've been you've been kind of caged, a caged lion, right? <laughs> Instead, and you're and you're being held in this uh, this place, but now you're allowing yourself to shine and to be set free. So this one's a special one we'll do in the end here, but we're going to start this way and work our way that way. Yeah, four of wands, stable energy, celebration. Like this said, celebrate you. It's you coming into this beautiful, beautiful place of celebration, uh, you know, that you don't have to wait until you've achieved something to celebrate all along the way. A lot of times we'll put our happiness in the future and say, well, I'll be happy when, but we're never happy. We get there and there's always another when that keeps pushing it and pushing it. And so it's almost like embracing who you are and being happy for no reason at all. And then no one can take it away from you, one, but you also celebrate all along the way, each step you take um, as you move forward into this limelight. You know, I feel like you're the in this place where you're noticed and you're seen as well yeah any of the two of cups so there is some um, for some of you this is a general reading this can be a wedding and this can be new love coming in because with the combination of those two it's it's like a you know a little bit of a, a strong message but for the rest of you who are like in a relationship already or you are um, happily single, <laughs> then these is, this is all about emotional choice too. That within each moment, every moment is either of unconditional love or the fear of losing conditional love, like we talked about in the intro. And this is the power that's coming in here, and you understanding that you're the one that gets to choose what something means. You're the one that gets to choose how you feel as you go through it. Uh, and of course, there's this huge joyful feeling that's coming in here. Absolutely. Yeah, Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. You definitely have this shining bright. I mean, when you make this leap, it is a huge, huge, um, big 
change in your life emotionally. I mean, you are literally glowing so much like a lighthouse with all this energy that no one can help but not go, oh my God, you're glowing. What happened? What's going on with you? And you just feel this power. This caged lion is free and he's smiling as he's walking around or she's smiling as she's walking around and you're just uh, feeling this wholeness and this completeness like you have reached your dream. And I feel like we are bringing in this one right away. Yeah. Okay. See why the other wish fulfillment card. <laughs> so you've got the nine of cups and the star. So both, uh, beautiful, beautiful cards about wish fulfillment dreams coming true. Um, and I absolutely love it. <laughs> it's just, it's crazy. And then you have the nine of wands, nine of wands, wands is your drive, your ambition, your passion, your inspiration. And the nine of wands is this great card about uh, one. The nine is about an internal journey and finding your power uh, within yourself. Cause normally there's like a block. There's like these nine wands that are um, up in front of you and they have their hand on one of the wands, which is the ace of wands. And it's actually your power that you can pull that away. And it's showing you that your energy is what blocks you and no one else's. And when you realize this power, you're able to move through blocks and go places you had never been able to go before because of those. It's almost like you were setting limits on yourself. You were saying no to you instead of to other people. And now you're saying yes to yourself. And there's the Ace of Swords that we were talking about. So connecting to the capital T truths of the higher realm, slicing away those old thoughts and those old beliefs that no longer serve you. So you are entering into this beautiful, beautiful freedom place of wish fulfillment, wonderful energies that are coming in for you because you are saying yes to you and no to other people and those limitations from before. And then your final card is going to be from the chakra reading cards. And this is just going to be what chakra uh, energy system is going to help you with this or what is being impacted with this energy change. So we'll give this a shuffle here. All right. So for our Leos, for Leo, all right, there it is. <laughs> what is happening here? Yeah, creativity, card number 10. So definitely this energy is just opening you up to the, you know, you're getting past those limitations. You're getting past those things that kept you from wanting to leap forward and, and being able to express yourself. And now you're shifting all that and it's allowing yourself to really get in tune with uh, your creative self, your higher self, tapping into the universe and all that creativity that's there because you're not allowing anyone to tell you no anymore. Uh, that's again, you're saying yes to you and you're able to do that. This is the sacral chakra, which does have to do with your uh, relationship to an, another individual normally, whereas the root chakra, the one before it is about you in groups and your solar plexus is your relationship to yourself. This is about your relationship one on one with individuals. And it says you have called upon this energy today because this is a powerful and important time of creativity in your life. You are forever connected to the life force of the cosmos. The universe is pure creative energy and is here for you at this time. When we can embrace this creative power and channel it into our lives, amazing things happen and the manifestation of our dreams <laughs> becomes a reality. Right on the two wish fulfillment cards. Have you been feeling a little flat or late? Uh, of late with no energy to create what you love? Are you feeling like you are lacking the joy the universe has to offer? Now is the time for you to allow creative energy to light your fire. If you've been pondering over whether to start a creative project such as writing, dancing, learning to play a musical instrument, or taking that painting class, now is the perfect time to invite this creative flow into your existence. A bounty of creative energy is at your fingertips. What do you love to create? 
What makes your heart sing? What have you dreamed of always doing? Now is the time to dance in the creative flow of your soul and the universe. Whatever your heart is calling you to do, make sure to get those creative juices flowing and it will bring joy and healing to your world. <laughs> the affirmation for the card, the creative energy of the universe flows through every cell of my being. Wow. What a wonderful energy um, for you, Leos. I mean, you were letting your fire out. You're letting yourself express instead of being this caged lion. And I love all this energy that comes in through this portal for you. So I can't wait to see what you do with it. And if you are looking for more messages of love from above, in addition to these videos, I also put out weekly energy updates for each individual zodiac sign, uh, monthly readings for each individual zodiac sign, and a few other types of videos throughout the month. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those and get notification immediately when they become available, if you give this video a little thumbs up by clicking the like button, and then by clicking that subscribe button, it gives you access to the notification bell. And when you go in there, there is an option for all. If you click on that, one, it's going to tell you uh, when a new video it comes out on my channel. But two, it's also going to tell you when I go live on YouTube per to provide live readings. I know. I go every single day. And, in, and actually on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I go twice on YouTube. So if you want to stop by and say hi um, and get notified, just make sure to hit that subscribe button in that notification bell. Um, also, doing all those things helps spread the Zen love and it does help my channel grow in significant ways because when you like one of my videos and share one of them, comment on one of my videos, subscribe to my channel, doing those things makes the YouTube algorithm so happy it wants to share the videos of my channel automatically with other people. So if you feel inspired to do any of those things I mentioned, please know I'm very, very grateful for that. These are general readings. If you're looking for even more specific information and answers for your specific life, I do offer personal readings. All that information is listed in the description box of the video below. All right, beautiful Leos, as you step in or leap in <laughs> to this portal, please know that every second of every day of your life that you are unconditionally loved by the mother and father of all things. And of course, I love you too. Have an amazing adventure. We'll be talking soon. In the meantime, you hang in there and you take care.